Hey guys, how's it going? It's me. It's Monday afternoon. I just thought I'd make a quick video. Um, just to update you a little bit. Uh, mm. Peppermint mocha season is the best season of the year. Um, I'm not expecting to lose any weight this week. Um, I've had a really rough week. I've been really sick all week. I still am a little bit, but it's... I'm better. I can at least breathe a little bit, but my throat is still kind of bleh. Um, and I've been doing a lot of thinking, well, with the holidays coming up and everything, and it's, I've just kind of hit a, I kind of feel like I've hit the bottom. Like, it's just, for the first time, in a really long time, I went out and had, um, had some lunch before I went out, went shopping today, and I just didn't feel like eating. And uh, that's usually a really good, uh, that's usually one of my main signs that I'm really, really getting really depressed. And with Thanksgiving coming up this week, I mean, it's like I really got nothing. I pretty much have no family. I have my sister, but unfortunately I'm working on Thanksgiving and the day after Thanksgiving and the whole weekend. My days off are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And I'm guessing she's not going to be off on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Unless she's going to be off the day after Christmas, which I don't know. She might. She might be. So it's it's just going to suck. It's just going to be all about work. It's like I'm not going to get to do anything really fun for the for the holidays. Although I did buy my sister's a Christmas present, so um, hopefully she won't see this video. But I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I got her. So Gina, don't watch the rest of this video or I will kick your butt. Thank you. So, um, a couple weeks, not a couple weeks ago, I think last week, I was at, uh, I was at JCPenney's, and I saw this, and, um, I immediately thought of my sister. Because she's all about, she's all about her iPad. It's like, her whole life revolves around her iPad, you know? So, I thought, I saw this, and I was like, it was... Not bad priced. I had a coupon to get ten dollars off it. It's like a giant iPod dock, but it's for an iPad. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but but yeah, you can see you can even use it for an iPhone. And I think she even has an iPhone too, or something similar to an iPhone. So she might be able to use it for that. What? But the cool thing is, what you can do is you can dock your your um your iPad on it and it has speakers it has speakers in it so it's like you can plug it in and watch videos on it because I know she watches her Netflix on here and stuff so I thought she'd really like that so yeah and I even made sure to hang on to the receipt just in case something went totally amiss with it I think I got a gift receipt. Yeah, I got I got her a gift receipt too. Cuz I'm just that kind of awesome. You know, just in case. But um I'm pretty sure she's really going to like that. Cuz I know I I mean I was even thinking of getting one for myself, but I'm I'm really not that much all about my iPad like she is. But um basically uh Aside from me being sad, depressed, and pitiful, and all that shit, I did mail out Jory Karen's um, Christmas present this morning. I was so excited. I was like, mm. um, I hope he really likes it. Um, I really um, put a lot of effort into finding this thing that I got for him. And um, I really hope he likes it, because um, if he doesn't like it, I will probably cry. <laughs> Um, uh, but I'm, my guess, I'm guessing he probably will really like it. Um, I know for a fact it's something that he really does like. And, um, I can't wait to see the mail video when he gets this item. It's gonna be so exciting. I, I really am, I really am psyched. I really am psyched. I can't wait to see, I can't wait to see him open this. Because this is actually the, the first item I'm sending to his new P.O. Box. So, um, I'm really psyched about it. Should be a good time. Let's see what else is going on today. Well, let me show you what I bought at Target today. 
Um, everyone's bitching at me about taking a multivitamin. Well, I went out and bought some uh, multivitamins today. And the cool thing about these is these are one-a-days. So, um, so I only have to take one of these a day. And, uh, let me throw out my gum. I gotta be careful because there's still a shitload of ants in crawling around my room. And, uh, throwing away a piece of gum is something that a million ants would jump on in a heartbeat. Oh yeah, that was sexy. Blech. Watch me spit my gum into a piece of paper, people. Mmm. I hope you're all not hot and bothered already. Alright. So, let's see. Can I open the child safety cap without killing myself this time? Goody, that's a step forward. Good job, Janet. All right, let's see here. Damn, these are big. The one thing I hate about multivitamins is they're fucking huge. I mean, look at how big this pill is. Ooh, it's ginormous. It's the size of my head. No, but it's this big. So... Here's my first multivitamin in hopes that I can get my fat ass back on track this week. Mm-hmm. I really shouldn't be taking a multivitamin with coffee, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so that's one thing I bought today. Um, I also bought a new lipstick. Because uh, the other lipstick I bought from Sephora... It's actually really melty. It, you know, one thing about me is I go through lipsticks really, really fast. So I got this one. I don't know if you can see, see it really well. Put some on you. Woo! Oh, you look lovely. But yeah, this is the, the lipstick I bought. I like, I like earthy tones. I also bought some Ambisol. Because, I don't know if you read some of my tweets, I was complaining about canker sores. Oh, see, because when I get stressed out, I get a shitload of canker sores inside my mouth. And they hurt, and they make me all nervous and paranoid, and make me think I have a toothache, when, when in fact I don't, when I just have, you know, a canker sores. Because I was really worried, because I think they're, like, way back here. And so I was worried that my wisdom teeth were impacted, and I was all freaking out, and I had trouble sleeping last night, and oh god, it was so much not fun. I also bought some of these in hopes that they will help my sore throat. So, and as I, as you all, I know how much you guys love watching me eat shit on, take medicine and shit online, so. Hmm. See if that does me any good. I also bought a couple of these. These are my favorite thing to take for when I have really bad sore throat. These usually help really good. Because uh, they're, non, they're non drowsy, so I can take them at I can bring it to work with me and have it at work. Um, and I had a coupon that when I bought two of them, I got $3 off. And these are. Ah! Sorry. These are like six bucks a pop. So getting $3 off two is a pretty good deal. And that was pretty much everything I bought today. Oh, and then I bought this gum. Do 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 do. I mean, I'm not a big gum chewer either, but you know, I just I wanted something because for some reason today I'm just not particularly hungry. I mean, I went to Mr. Pickles and got my usual. Uh, the usual sandwich that I get that I love to get. And for some reason, I don't know. I just couldn't eat it all. I only ate like half of it, which is odd for me. I usually, and I hadn't eaten anything else today. So, um, I'm just really trying to pull myself out of this funk that I'm in. And it's, it's not easy when you're pretty much, I'm pretty much all alone on my days off. The only day I had where I wasn't alone was on Sunday because I called out sick because I was really feeling bad and my voice was really bad. So, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. I'm still waiting on my po my 11th postcard from this guy up here. See this good looking dude right up here on my wall? This dude. I'm still waiting on my postcard from him. And, uh, 
hopefully I'll be getting it soon. I, I know he's going through a lot right now. He just moved and, and holidays and, and all that fun shit. So, unlike me, who has absolutely nothing, he's got a big family. He's got a lot of friends. He's, you know, he's got a lot of time. He's got a lot more time than I do for family, friends, and holiday and blah and all that fun crap right there. So, basically, um, I should still be doing a, a weigh-in video tomorrow, because I am still going to my meeting regardless. You know, I need to face the scale like a, like a woman and say, yeah, I really fucked up this week again. And I don't see me meeting my goal, because I only got one week left. Next week marks my uh, third month of uh, trying to lose five pounds a month. I mean, I've done it every month up until this one. And I somehow knew that for November and December, I'm probably not going to be able to lose the five pounds a month that I want to lose. But I, the, the thing I want, I want to try to do is I want to try not to gain five pounds a month. So what I'm going to start doing is tomorrow I'm going to get completely back to white-knuckling it. Because when I white-knuckle it, I, I usually do pretty well. I mean, I've, I've lost seven pounds in one week once. So I know it's doable. But I've just got to, you know, try not to be so... De Although if I stay this depressed where I don't feel like eating, I might lose lose a little bit more. But it's uh, it's not about that. It's about eating, eating stuff that I enjoy eating, you know. Because during this time of year, there's a lot of fun stuff to... To eat and drink, like for example, my peppermint mocha here that I got. Non-fat peppermint mocha, six points. Although this might be seven because I actually got whipped cream on it. And, uh, you know, it's just keeping track, little things like that, you know. it's Weight Watchers isn't a diet, it's a lifestyle change. Because you're going to be basically eating like this for the rest of your life. You know, and that's what I love about Weight Watchers is I don't have to, I don't have to like completely change my eating habits. I don't have to be like, okay, I can only eat raw fruits and vegetables forever and lean protein. I can't eat candy. I can't eat this. I can't eat that. Blah, 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 blah. There's, you know, nothing is off limits. You can literally eat anything you want, but it's about moderation. It's not about deprivation. That's the way I feel about it, you know. And I know a lot of other people are doing all these other great diets that work for them. And it's like, you know, it's great. If you can lose a bunch of weight on, on any of these other diets, you know, good for you for being that disciplined. Because a lot of these other diets are really, really fucking hard. And I call them diets. They're not lifestyles. Because once you go off these diets, you basically put your weight back on. Unless you plan to eat like that for the rest of your life. Which, <laughs> I don't think so. Like, let's take Jenny Craig, for example. I could not see me doing Jenny Craig for the rest of my life because it's ridiculously expensive. You know, Weight Watchers is only $40 a month. $40 a month. And then once you get to goal, it's free. Once you get to goal, it's free. As long as you stay within two pounds of your goal weight. And as I stand right now, I'm probably a little over 100, about 100 pounds away from my goal. When, uh, in 2004, when I started, I was like, I was almost 200 pounds away from that goal. No, probably like 180 pounds away from that goal. But anyways, I'm, star I'm starting to reach my 15-minute limit here, so I'm going to get going. I want to try to do something positive today. And hopefully I'll see you all tomorrow. Mwah! Have a beautiful, beautiful Monday.